in this video, I am going to give you a super brief overview of editing in Audacity. I will not be showing any of the basic structural things about Audacity, so downloading, installing, importing, or exporting audio, or saving projects. In this video, I focus only on the editing of audio portion, and I have all my tracks actually already in my project here. These are the things editing-wise I'm going to show you in the video, renaming track, muting, soloing, zooming, etc. I will not be getting to noise removal, fading audio in and out, or understanding stereo versus mono tracks, but Audacity is capable of these things, and so these are the next things that you should look into when you're learning your, editing, uh, your audio editing journey that you are on here. Okay. In this example, I am going to make a basic podcast. And this podcast consists of three things. First, your actual content, the narration of the podcast, probably you doing a narration, maybe having a conversation with someone else. Um, two, you have some secondary audio piece, so it could be an interview. In this case, I have a voicemail. And three, some sort of music or background track. Don't forget, if you're using music, it needs to be royalty-free or Creative Commons licensed so that you don't get into copyright trouble. So let's get to editing. I'm just gonna keep this up here in the corner so that I can keep track of what I'm supposed to be doing at any given time. Okay, so here is my project already saved and I have three tracks in here. This one is going to be my narration or my, my content. So I'm going to click on this arrow here in the uh, left-hand side of my track and change the name so that I can keep track of what all of these things are. Actually, voicemails make sense to me for this. This one is my music, and this actually is music that I composed for another podcast. How convenient. The next thing that I will show you is muting. Actually, I'm going to skip to zooming because I just did that <laughs> naturally. Um, I went and I pressed Command-1, no, Command-3 on my keyboard, and that zoomed out, and now I'm going to zoom in. Unfortunately, Audacity is not uh, responding to our traditional zooming in and out, Command-, minus, Command+, plus, um, but Command-1 and Command-3, you'll get used to it. It's there. This also is a zoom um, button or tool and a toolbar up here. I don't recommend using it because it is a pain. You can also click on these buttons up here if you forget your keyboard commands. Next, we will go back up to muting and soloing. Okay, so this gets us to actually listening to some of this audio. So if I wanna hear these tracks, so let's go back to the beginning. I'm gonna press play and what we're gonna hear is all three of these at one time. Press space bar to stop. I'm going to switch back to my cursor tool so I can actually navigate through these tracks. And but you do a mountain of water. Shape. So maybe I don't want to hear all of these at once as I'm going through my editing process. So what I can do is I can click solo, and solo in audio editing and, and any digital audio workstation pretty much that you will find, um, to my knowledge, solo means get rid of all the other tracks, make them muted, and just listen to this one. But you do a mountain with water, should we see what it looks like? Right, whereas muting is the opposite, just gets rid of that track that you are specifically clicked on and leaves the rest in. So as we're listening to this, you're probably noticing, and maybe you're even noticing visually, that one of these is much louder than the other two. This one is very, very quiet, and this one is loud, and we know that because this blue waveform on the top is taller, and this one is much, much quieter. So what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna change that. We want them to be more of an equal volume, and there's a bunch of different ways you can do it. I'm gonna show you two ways. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Over on the panel here where we changed the name, there is a slider, a gain slider. So you can actually adjust this here if you want. You don't see it happening here, but we can he we can hear it with our ears. So let's see. Please enter your password. Please enter your password. If I move it down, it's much quieter. 
So you can do it over here if you would like, and when you export this, it will actually reflect in the final um, exported file. I double checked at the beginning of this video just to make sure that this wasn't just some sort of, uh, some sort of way that it would allow you to monitor. But it does, it works. The other way that you can do it is by processing an effect. So if you double click on this whole audio track, I'll zoom out so you can see that I'm now selected on here. And then up in your toolbar panel, there's an effect menu. You can't see it, it's on my other screen, I'm sorry. Um, if you choose amplify, you will get this window here. And amplify means, hey, make it louder or actually quieter. So we're gonna change this to negative six, which is pretty typical and say okay. And you can see right away that this waveform has gotten much, much, uh, much, much bigger. Let's see, cutting moving audio clips. So we have finally made it to what we would call the actual putting together, the, the putting together of the audio puzzle uh, in your podcast. So what we might want is to start out with some music, maybe five to seven seconds of your theme song, and then have some of your content come in, maybe some more music, and then later on we'll hear an interview and we'll go back to your inter your podcast, your narration. So in order to do this, we have to be able to cut this audio and move it around. How do we do that? There are many ways. So first, let's start with the music. Actually, no, the music is fine where it's at. We want the beginning of the track to start right at the beginning. So let's start with our narration here. And I actually wanna pick a piece of this that's in the middle. I think, okay, go ahead and press the arrow. I think this is a good introduction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my cursor tool, that's from up here. I'm gonna click, I'm gonna zoom all the way out. I'm just gonna click here and I'm gonna drag all the way to the beginning and show you that you can use regular cut, copy, paste commands, just like with text here in Audacity. So Command X will cut, whoa, it's gone. It just cut it out of there and moved, it shifted the whole track over. I can then come over here to the end or to a new track and command V to paste all that audio that I just got rid of. So it's all still okay. here. Um, and I'm putting it there because I wanna use it later. I'm saving it for later. Uh, now, what I might want to have happen is the music to start and then for this little section to come in here. Okay, go ahead and press that arrow. I'm gonna mute my voicemails for just a second. So let me zoom just a little bit and take my time shift tool. You can hit F5 for this or you can come up and click on these vertical arrows. And instead of the cursor, which allows you to select different points of the audio, now when I click on my track, it allows me to move these pieces around. So I'm gonna move the beginning of this to mm, somewhere around five-ish seconds. And let's hear what that sounds like. Okay, go ahead and press the arrow. Okay, I'm happy with this. Now let's say that what we wanna do is find a place for our secondary audio audio clip, so this is a voicemail. So let's come back and solo this and get our cursor back so that we can sample through and find, press the space bar to play, find the piece that we actually want. Is that? Oh, okay, sorry. That's my dad pretending to be Darth Vader. Are you still there to delete this message? Okay, this is the grandmother one. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see it. And I'm gonna make these tracks bigger by clicking and dragging down so that again, I have a better visual view here. I can't here it is. I just to so this is the point that I wanna start. So once I get here, um, I'm going to, to actually cut this with some scissors. So rather than before where I said cut and I selected and got rid of a whole section, in this case, I'm just gonna you know, make a cut through the audio clip. Like imagine you had an actual cassette tape and you cut it. The way that I do that is Command-I with the keyboard command. And to be honest with you, 
there's a way to do it in the menus and I cannot remember what it is because I use keyboard commands so often. So now I've made this cut, you can see it here, this black line right here. And to show you that I actually did, I can go back up and grab my time stretch tool and zoom out and now I can move these clips around independently. So what I'm gonna do is get rid of this guy Okay, the interface is weird on Audacity. It's weird, it's, it looks a little old, uh, but it's, it's working just fine. So I want this clip at the beginning. I'm gonna drag it over. It looks like it's not being dragged, but then voila, there it is. Again, I'm gonna put this here at the end, just in case we need it later. And let's put this audio clip right here in this empty space uh, here with my my narration and let's turn off all of our solos and mutes oops here we go and listen to what that sounds like wait let's leave some water you want to see what the whole thing looks like let's just watch it hi Pam it's me I just congratulations okay it's going pretty good we need to turn this up a little bit more Hi, Pam, it's me. I just wanted to... Maybe even a little bit more. Okay, so the last thing that I want to show you is a technique called auto-ducking. So auto-ducking is an audio editing technique that allows you to take a background track of music and a speech track at the same time and automatically take the volume of the music down when the there's audio in your speech track. So as I'm talking, or when I start talking, the background track will fade automatically a little bit, so it keeps going, but we can also clearly hear the speech. The way that you do this in Audacity is you take your music track and you apply the auto-ducking to it. So you have to have the speech track below your music track. So I'm gonna click on my narration that I would like to auto-duck my narration, sorry, that, that was confusing. My narration, I'm gonna move it all the way to the bottom. And then this is the background track. This is the audio that we will actually apply the auto duck effect to. So I'm going to select just this first half, uh, just so you can see how it works visually. And I am going to my effects panel and I am selecting auto duck. So this panel comes up and it's gonna give you all of these choices for how long your breaks of, of silence can be, so maximum pause before the music comes back in, um, and also how long it takes to fade back up. And you can see as I change this, this visual interface will, will um, move. You can also do this visually, so I can move my audio down. This is the amount that I would like to reduce the volume by, so this is a lot. This is a little, we'll go somewhere in the middle. And I would like a kind of slow fade and a, a slow fade, slow-ish fade back up. Um, I'm gonna switch my maximum pause to half a second and just click okay. So you can see after that effect was applied, instead of having a steady stream of music across, now I've got periods of time where I have lower volume. And let's listen to what that actually sounds like. Well, let's start here. Okay, go ahead and press the arrow. Okay. Mm, weird. Mom, it didn't really work. Let's try again. So you can see that when the speech comes in, the volume is lowered up here. When the speech comes in here, the volume is lowered here. This is a super handy way so that you don't have to do this manually, lowering the volume, but it allows you to keep that continuity of the background track going as your speech comes in. Okay, that is all I wanted to show you for audio editing. Hope this helps you get started making a basic podcast. See if I can fade out. <laughs>